That's right, you read the title correctly. I'm recommending that if you're thinking of selling your home, don't do it this year. And you might be wondering, why is a realtor telling me not to sell my home? And the reason is, I actually make the same recommendation every single year. So let's discuss why I consistently recommend that homeowners not sell their homes around this time every year, but that buyers consider purchasing in the next 45 days. So in terms of seasonality, the closer we get to major holidays, the more the market gets cold for sellers. There are some obvious reasons as to why this happens, and I'm gonna take you through the top five. So number one, the buyer pool mentally starts to focus more on holiday travel and shopping rather than looking at homes. Number two, it becomes harder to show tenant occupied properties as most tenants will be setting up their homes for holiday gatherings and family visits. Number three, it gets dark earlier and homes generally show better during the daylight and most people simply prefer to view homes when they can actually see the neighborhood as well in the daytime. Generally speaking in our area in the Northeast, people work until five or six o'clock at night. So by the time they get to a property, the sun is setting. So you're gonna see more people choosing not to view property at this time period. Number four, COVID is still a major concern and that gets worse in the winter time. Even if you've been vaccinated, it makes sense to limit your exposure as much as possible in the winter months when we're confined to our homes and indoor spaces. That's when the transmission spikes and even if you're not affected by the virus, if you've been exposed, there goes your holiday plans. And if you have kids, well, enjoy having your hyper kids at home for two weeks when it's too cold for them to even go outside and play. Because if they've been exposed or in contact to COVID-19, Schools have very strict protocols. I know from experience. Number five, transactions can become harder to facilitate. Lenders, attorneys, and inspectors will generally have vacation time scheduled and their rate of responses tend to lag a bit. It gets very frustrating and it ultimately makes it more difficult to keep an ideal timeline. So if you're selling a home in order to buy a home, well, you can expect double the frustration. Now, on the flip side of this argument, if you're a buyer that has some flexibility in a closing timeline, the winter months are actually a great time to be looking at a home. Although you may have less inventory to choose from, you'll have significantly less competition overall. So I'm gonna back this up with some data really quick. The National Association of Realtors states that the number of home sales increases significantly in the spring season. They also point out that the slowest months are November, December, January, and February. So you can see in this chart created by the National Association of Realtors that in the Northeast, the sales volumes in the slower months are only a fraction of what they are in the spring and summer market. It's a little hard to understand this chart, but it's basically saying that Sales activity is about 44% slower in these slow months. And I personally always had a great February and March in terms of sales, but that may just be something that aligns with my strategies for my buyers and sellers in the North Jersey market. We generally put timelines in place that leverage an ascending market before the competition can take any of our thunder. And I think that's why that happens for me every year. So sellers. Unless you absolutely need to sell a home in the next 45 days, you're better off enjoying your holidays and starting to put a strategy together for early 2022. But buyers, whether you're just getting started or have been looking for a long time, these next six weeks may be the best time of year to find a home. Anyways, I hope this helps you and provides you with an answer to the question, should I list my home in late November or December? For me, it's a no. So take care, and if I don't talk to you beforehand, have an amazing Thanksgiving, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.